Graham's Hot Rod Shop presents The Percy Project. So when Jim and Maria and Brent Percy approached me to possibly build the, this car for them, they told me that they'd owned this car for approximately 40 years. The car was built originally in Los Angeles. They bought it for their son Brent uh, back in the 80s. And the beauty in this car is it has all of its virgin sheet metal. There was no rust. There was no body damage. Nothing had ever been uh, uh, repaired on the car. So. We talked about the level of car that they wanted to end up with, and they talked about a pro touring. They wanted a full chassis. They wanted to handle and drive like a new car. They wanted some performance in it, and they wanted to be able to show it, but the most important thing is they wanted to be able to drive it after they show, they show the car. So we set out to build them a very nice car, and we went through all kinds of color combinations that, that may work for the car, and we ended up with Axel Nobel, their modern classic line, and this is the Cha-Ching Silver, that is new to their product line that uh, we think really fits the car. So, okay, one subtle custom piece that we did on this car is we one piece the front bumper. It's a California one piece to start with, but we took the the bullet extensions and one piece them on. We smooth the bumper so there's no there's no holes and we custom fit the bumper to the car. The rear bumper we had to, to fabricate and hand fit uh, the car and we also took and one piece the three the, the end the bumper ends to the center piece, smoothed all the bumper, bolt holes, and also smooth in Original license plate light for a real clean For the for the wheels, we went with Budnick uh, billet wheels. They're 19 inch by 11 wide. Uh, and for the front wheels, we went se uh, 18 inch, 7 inch wide. Budnick. As I mentioned from the interior, it's got an all Phoenix gold sound system uh, by Castro Customs out of Hanford, California. It's a 3000 watt system that's got 10 speakers. It's got two 12 inch subs and a custom enclosure in front of this panel. And it's got two batteries, two optimum batteries, one for the chassis and one for the sound system. So you can play the sound system if it does go bad or go go dead. You have a, a starting battery for the chassis that uh, will get you home. We had Mark Lopez in Upland, California from Elegance Auto Interiors uh, take over the chore of, of putting this all leather uh, uh, interior for us. He custom built the console to incorporate the, the head unit for the uh, 10 speaker, 3000 watt sound system. Uh, the Lexus uh, SC bucket seats uh, were custom mounted. Uh, so Mark did a very nice job on this interior. We decided we'd go with the GM Performance LS3 525 horse uh, motor combination with a 4L70E auto transmission. Uh, we wanted a performance oriented car. If it's going to handle and drive like it should, we wanted to have some a uh, little bit of muscle in it, but also to be reliable. So we took and fabricated in a smooth firewall to match the contour of the motor. And we also uh, slightly customized the inner fenders and, and built panels to hide the the AC and heater components on the passenger side and the electronics, the injection computer and transmission computer on the driver's side on top of the inner fender behind the panel. We also 
We also incorporated uh, the billet hood hinges, the Eddy Motorsports, the, the polished front runner system on, on the motor, uh, the polished uh, crossflow radiator with the, with the custom cap on top. And another feature that we're proud of is the is a custom hood latch, which is uh, different than a lot of tri fives nowadays. point on the steering on our custom chassis is the power rack and pinion, the front steer power rack and pinion. On the back of the cross member, we've got a NASCAR style sway bar with polished billet links. And for the brakes, we have the large Willwood six piston uh, drilled and slotted rotors. One of the key features on our chassis is the laser cut uh, custom body mounts that are different than most chassis, custom chassis on the market. Okay, we had a custom aluminum driveline built by Arizona Drive Shaft and took it to our polisher and had it highly polished. Uh, and it's connected to a Mosier a 350 ratio aluminum rear center section of the Ford 9 inch rear end. We in house fabricated the 2.5 inch uh, stainless exhaust and uh, mirror polished it to match the 525 horse LS3 motor. We incorporated it into our chassis build with the Ford 9 inch rear end housing. We've done the four bar, uh, triangulated four bar rear suspension with the QA1 coilover shocks. And we run, we're running Johnny joints with articulation of the chassis suspension up and down. The, uh, one of the key features uh, with our custom chassis also is that we run the brake lines and fuel lines inside the frame rail from the rear of the car to the front where it exits and goes to the fuel injection and also the front brake master. A little custom touch for us building the chassis was the, the dual uh, tubular crossbar across the back. We've got a 23 gallon mix, pol highly polished uh, stainless steel tank. And we've got the, the Deeds beautiful polished exhaust hangers that complement our, our polished stainless exhaust.